In Adobe Premiere Pro, there are two different types of text boxes. This can be a little confusing because the behavior depends on how you originally create the text box. The first type, select the text tool, point, click, and start typing text. Adobe calls this text on a point. The second type is when you click and drag and create a text in a box. Here are the key differences in the behaviors of these two types of boxes. For the text on a point, notice the scale. So when you click with the tool and drag the corners, the text will scale with the box as you drag it. On the text in the box, when you drag the corner, the scale of the text stays the same and it just changes the area where the text in the box will wrap. You can adjust the font size and the text will wrap in the box. For the text on a point, adjusting the font has this kind of behavior. This is the behavior when adding or adjusting the text. For example, if you add more text, it just expands on the same line. You can go in and add a return to do your own custom line break, and this will work. In the text in the box, it's a little different. You can add more text, and it will wrap automatically within the box. You can still go into the box and add a return to have your own custom breaks. When you adjust the font size, it will overflow and all the text won't be displayed. You can then go in and adjust the box to fit it into the area that you want. The text boxes in Premiere Pro can be a little confusing because after you create the text box, there's no visual indicator as to what type of box it is. Additionally, there's no way to change the different box types once it's created. You have to create a new box and then copy and paste or retype the text.